Costa County Sheriff's Department is cutting ties with ICE by cutting up its multi-million dollar federal contract. KPI XY's Julia Goodrich on what that means for the dozens of detainees that the county is currently housing in Richmond. We've seen and heard the protests Bay Area wide. We don't play ICE with ICE. And now Contra Costa County Sheriff David Livingston taking a hard stance, essentially saying no to ICE by canceling the county's contract with the agency. To be clear, the Sheriff's Office does not do immigration enforcement. In fact, our policy prohibits it. That means 169 detainees currently housed in the West County Detention Facility in Richmond could essentially be transported anywhere in the country or be released back into the Bay Area depending on the circumstance. It's up to ICE to decide over the next 120 days. Ending the contract is a critical step in rebuilding this trust. Supervisor John Joya has publicly opposed the ICE contract, saying it was harmful to families and eroded trust with immigrant families. The county says ending its ICE contract was based on public pressure and future economics. But then there is another side to the issue. I am sorry that we are losing this contract. Contra Costa County Supervisor Karen Mitchoff says currently the ICE contract brings in two and a half to three million dollars in revenue. And now the county will have to tap into its reserve funds for the fiscal year. It is the Contra Costa County taxpayer who will have to fill that hole. And while this year we are able to do that, as we move forward in budget conversations and negotiations next year, we are going to have to find a way to deal with that. Supervisor Mitchoff says she's also concerned the end of this contract means some of these detainees may be sent far away from their families. When the Sacramento ICE contract ended, some detainees were sent as far away as Hawaii. According to the Sheriff's Department, it is now up to ICE to decide in the next 120 days. In Martinez, Julia Goodrich, KPIX 5.